Welcome back guys this is the third video of code java interview questions and answers for the automations interview and here we will talk about some more concepts uh, in the core java so before to start this is my playlist which i always share so uh, when you guys go to this playlist when you click on here you can see that you know there are a lot of playlists so you can go inside and you can study based on your requirement now let me start with the other topic in core java we will start with method overloading in java so when i say method overloading which means it will allow us to create more than one method with the same name by changing the method arguments you can create more than one method in the same class just by changing the argument and method overloading we call it as a compile time polymorphism right compile time polymorphism argument list can be different in the following ways the number of parameter to the methods data type of parameters sequence type of parameters right if you look at the example which i have given here the first test one has one argument second has two argument third has three argument now uh, you can make one more test one method with two argument by giving a string a string which is possible so if i copy this sorry if i copy this and if i paste here i can write here here i can change that this is also the example of overloading okay this is also the example of over overloading right so this is also possible this also will work out so this is also the example of overloading so when people will ask you you can say that this is also the example of method overloading because you are trying to overload right so when you try to call on the run time you know how call will happen based on the argument which will supply to the method the call will happen now what is method overriding this is very important topic so the in method overriding what happens is uh, we can write the same method in the child class what method we have in the parent class so basically you can see that in the more technical words its ability of the object its ability of object to decide which method to be called right or it is the method call happens based on the class for which we have created the object on the run time not at the compile time on the run time the points to note you can remember the method overriding is the feature of java which allows us to create same method in the parent and child class with the same name same argument method overriding is the ability of java which will make sure which method should be called call happens from a class from for which we have created the object not for the referenced class so let's say you have created the reference of parent that does not mean that the method will call happens from the parent at compile time method call happens from the reference class at run time method call happens from the object class method overriding possible only by inheritance method overriding we can also call it as a run time polymorphism method overriding is the feature of java which allows us to create same method in the parent class and child class with the same name and with the same argument you can say it here the parent class i have i have a child class the child class extends the parent class in the parent class i have a method called test in the child also have a method called test in the parent i have method test1 child i have test1 so when i when i make the object of child class here which test1 will get called the child class test1 will get called okay the child class class test1 will get called again when i make the object of child class which test1 will get called child class test1 will get called now what is the inheritance in the java so inheritance in the java means we inherit child class will acquire all non static members of the class that is called inheritance which means child class will acquire all the non static member of parent class we cannot inherit private members of the class not possible we cannot inherit a static member of the class since a static members are class members final members cannot be inherit these are the points we need to remember you can see that i have made parent class and child class child class extends parent class and when i am making the reference of parent class and the object of child class through the object child class and the parents of reference of parent class i am able to access all the member of the parent class 
so here instead of making the object of child and reference of parent if you write the reference of child and the object of child class even in that case you can access all the member of parent class now interface in java what is interface very very important topic interface has only unimplemented method this is very important point you can say that interface has only unimpl unimplemented method interface members are by default public static final we can call interface as a 100% abstract class multiple inheritance is possible in case of interface we cannot create object of interface since all members are unimplemented we cannot create constructor of interface since object creations of interface is not possible we cannot create the object of the class we cannot create the object of the class since members are unimplemented so these are the point you can remember in the interface and a structure of interface you can see that public interface example one where i have written public final static int i90 and int j is equal to 80 so even though when you are writing int j is equal to 80 by default the member is public static final so even though you are not writing by default it is a public static final and when i say public void test 1 test 2 test 3 test 4 you can see that here no body i have written here that is the reason the members of interface are unimplemented and though you don't write public here right if you look at the example test 4 if i remove the public let's say if i'll remove this public from here and when this example when we try to implement example 1 by default public will get added why because by default the member of interface are methods of interface are public by default method of interface are by default public okay so though you write or don't write when you implement a interface automatically the access type will be public this we cannot remove if you try to remove you will get a compile time error so instead of public test 4 here if you try to write uh, protected or default or private you will get a compile time error now let me see that what is abstract class so abstract class will have both implemented plus unimplemented methods again we cannot create the object of abstract class right we cannot write constructor in the abstract class to make to make class abstract class we need to have at least one method as abstract method if you are not writing any method as abstract method then there is no point of creating abstract class we can create reference of abstract class and object of child class right you can see that basic structure here you have public abstract class ex uh, example abstract one so you have test one method which is unimplemented test two implemented test three implemented test four and test five which is not implemented but here by default access is not public okay by default access is not public because you can look at here here i'm extending interface we implement but abstract class we extend because this is the class that is the interface so here you can see that the test one is the public access whereas if you look at the test five which is a uh, default right which is a default access here the public word is not coming which which means it is a default access in fact if you look at the test 4 which is a public access now if you look at i am creating the reference of abstract class in the object of child class and i am able to access all the members okay i can access all the methods like this that's how the abstract class works now this is very important where people will ask you like what is the technical difference between the abstract class and interface so you can always say that method and members of abstract class can be defined with any visibility you can keep any visibility like visibility in the sense of access whereas all methods of interface must be defined as a public you cannot write default protected for interface when inheriting an abstract class a concrete chi child class must define the abstract method right whenever you are trying to inherit your concrete child class which is nothing but the class must define the abstract methods whereas abstract class can extend another abstract class and abstract method from the parent class do not have to be defined right so abstract class can extend other abstract class also from the from the parent class don't have to be defined similarly an interface extending other interface is not responsible for implemented method from the parent interface so let's say there are two interface 
interface A, interface B. So when interface A implements interface B, in that case, uh, you don't need to implement the interface A members in interface B. If it is an interface interface because one interface extends other interface, it will not implement. So you don't need to, right? But let's say if child class, if any class implementing the interface B, then that class has to write the implementations of A also and B also. Otherwise, it will not work. So if you look at the fourth point, a child class can only extend a single class, whereas interface can extend whereas an interface can extend or a class can implement multiple other interfaces. Right? So child class can only extend a single class. Any class cannot extend more than one class, but interface can extend it but interface so let's say your class can implement multiple other inter, uh, interface right so let's say one class and you have three four interface so your class can implement you know three four uh, interfaces without any problem what i'm trying to say that is here when let's say you have more than one uh, uh, more than one class you have let, let me take this example from here and I will go here and let's say if I write like this I can write example 2 example 3 so you can implement more than interface there is no problem at all okay so you can implement that, that is the reason I am writing that here a child class can extend a single class whereas an interface can extend or a class can implement multiple other interfaces right now the last point a child class can define abstract class method with the same with the same or less restrictive visibility which means any child class if let's say your abstract class has access of default so your child class can change the access to the public which is possible okay which is possible whereas a class implementing an interface must define the method with the exact same visibility let's say you have an interface you have one method a when you have one method a which is public you cannot narrow down like you cannot make default in your uh, child class not possible you cannot narrow down in case of interface right so with this i will close this video and in next video, we will start with uh, exception handling. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this. All the PDF I will share to you guys. Thank you once again.